Hi guys, Mad here and welcome to my next Mad Reacts. In this case it is something that is especially on my mind and that is Attacking the Darkness. Attacking the Darkness is a Kickstarter campaign right now from uh, I believe it's Zombie Office Entertainment again with that gentleman productions uh, at least in the background I believe but Zombie Office Entertainment is actually the one that's uh, pushing that one out and Attacking the Darkness is a mockumentary so it's a satire it's a satire by um, by somebody I, I really, really uh, enjoy as an actor so far, that is Christian Doyle. Christian Doyle has played in Journey Quest and in Darkness Rising, which are, um, by the way, upcoming reactions of mine. Um, which, uh, since the, the Journey Quest Season 3 was uh, luckily on the last day, we got the Kickstarter funded for that. And uh, he's going to be in there. And uh, Darkness Rising is one of the three movies of um, uh, the game so far. And there's a game series that is just uh, planning out in season zero. That is funded by the Patreon of, I believe, that gentleman. And I am a patron there as well. So um, he's he's well known as an actor in that regard. So he is... Um, He's, since since uh, Darkness Rising, he's a constant actor on the Dead Gentleman side. But this one is his first writer and director debut, by the way, and Attacking the Darkness. And uh, one of the actors who is playing there is Brian Lewis. And Brian Lewis is also known from Darkness Rising. It's also known from the third movie. And it's also known from Journey Quest. So he is also very much in the in the uh, circle of the uh, zombie orphoids. Um, Zombie Office and Dead Gentleman Productions, and he is playing an actor on uh, on Attacking the Darkness. So, Attacking the Darkness is a mockumentary about um, how people react to role-playing games, and reacted basically, re uh, especially reacted in the 80s, the 70s, 80s, when role-playing games came out, uh, out and uh, you know, grew pen and paper role-playing games and hit the ultra-conservative Christian uh, Christian uh, mentality. Of many people and the th funny thing is this is relatable to me because I grew up in Bavaria and I was a role player I played um, uh, the what's it called the dark eye I think it's called in in uh, in English and there was a book that had a pentagram on top a magic spell book and I had it occasionally and I was actually confronted from it f um, about it because of perceived satanism. So that's the same fucking thing, but of course it was never as drastic as in the 80s. There were some, but uh, never as drastic. We are just niche, much too niche in Germany. So so this is the first one, it's the official trailer. There will be three videos in this video, actually, and this is the first one, the official trailer. Um, I'm already um, putting it in here without playing it. The following preview has been approved for appropriated audiences solely by Zombie Office Entertainment. The film advertised may or may not qualify as satire slash parody. Under 17 requires a solid understanding of Poe's law, some strong language, religious themes, and fire. Fire is important. And you can see zombieoffice.com and attackthedarkness.org. So let's get the video started in 3, 2, 1, go. The Minds Behind Dark camera. Dungeons is also something I have to react to. The game is in Journey Quest. When my brother quest. started playing role-playing games, <laughs> I prayed harder than I ever have in my life. Bring you the story of a woman determined to find the evils of role-playing games through the power of film. Yeah. We're making this movie for God. If yeah. they think they're ready to learn, you know, the real stuff, we should give we them are, a shot. We are. We're ready. I don't think people recognize how close Hell is to Earth. <laughs> you touch any dice on the table. Oh, were any, were any of the dice configured to 666? Yeah. Is he conscious? This is just a little too close for me and for the Lord. Oh I just can't do gosh. it. I just can't do it anymore. But what if I were to summon some actual demons? All of this 
It was in a document that we called the script. So now the budget's like So this. like a bigger snowball or something. Right. Okay. A snowball is a good metaphor in general. Okay. I'm in a different biz, I guess. The business of, oh of my God. Source, you know? Different businesses working together, trying to make my word uh, the truth. Wait, we're done. I wanna we're done. We're done. Yeah, yeah wanna that's about it. That is no, that is the coward. Making their word the truth, the no matter if it's actually through. fact. And man, oh man, do we need the Lord right now. As soon as possible. That would be great. Are you um, according to whom? <laughs> Jupiter Ridge. Are you concerned at all that this show might have some negative repercussions on RPGs? Have you read the script? <laughs> Do you believe in Jesus Christ as uh -huh. your personal Lord and Savior? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, um, that is somebody who doesn't want to offend, because um, my answer to that would be very clear. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is that is attacking the darkness, and um, so that is that is the trailer, and we can already see what direction this is heading. So this is heading towards the. You know, somebody is making a movie about role-playing games to warn about role-playing games and they fear that this is actual Satanism, that is actual rituals and so on. And they want to save their souls and in the background there is a preacher who just wants to get his flock and uh, enlarged and get his word out and his opinion of everything. And a filmmaker was hired, which is played by Brian Lewis, to, to make this movie and uh, yeah this is this is the first one so and there is a, a second one i think it's introducing attacking the darkness and uh yeah and that is from their from their from their uh, channel and that is the next video i'm going to watch and i'm going to watch this in th um, just a second here we go i have to uh, continue to the end of the other video and and then we can go in three two one Go. Okay, so this is Attacking the Darkness, a feature-length yeah. comedy about filmmakers who've set out to create the ultimate anti-role-playing movie. <laughs> By playing these innocent games, we both know they're not very innocent. Not at all. You are opening yourself <laughs> up to become a vessel for a demon. You are yeah. opening <laughs> up a portal to hell. No, what you're, you're not. Really doing is saying, it's okay, Satan. Come, Come on, on in. in. You see Jinx, that? Oh. Me a oh. Hey, Kickstarter. With your support, we've raised over $1 million to produce award winning independent comedy, fantasy, and horror that is films. True. In 2014, we brought you an adaptation of a famous graphic novel about the evils of tabletop role playing that games. That is something that, that I've seen. Warned us about Dark Dungeons. Dungeons. I have seen the first Following that episode. production, some of our fans were left with a question Were we serious about the evils of role playing games? Well, today, we've returned to Kickstarter with a film 80s, that addresses that, that question that was a legitimate while asking concern. some new ones about faith, the leaders in whom we put our trust, and whether role-playing games truly are a gateway drug for Satan. Well, what if I were to summon some <laughs> They actually believe that. that. They actually believe that. that, that we might they are really do. believing that This is that a project you... unlike any other. A feature film shot behind the scenes and alongside a completely different them. feature they film. We hired some of Seattle's best comedy improvisers as our leads. She's a very, very good rock to stand on. And he's been standing on me for years. <laughs> cast and crew willing to play original characters in our film while simultaneously performing their jobs in the other movie. It was all very method. Not method like Stanislavski, method like he's on meth. It's a comedy <laughs> about how far people will go in the name of their passions. Filmmakers yeah. who will do anything to get the shot. You know, now that I think about it, that, that might actually be illegal. Hmm. Churchgoers who will stop at nothing to save souls. No. Jesus can interrupt whenever he likes. Okay, me. if Jesus walks through so. that door and interrupts my take, well, he's here I'll right give now. him that. He's hearing everything you say. And gamers who will fight tooth and nail to defend their hobby. Oh. Black energy in this room. We've all met zealots who take their obsessions too far. He will smite them down with his hand. Well, come on up well now, we invite you to find out what happens when they collide in our newest and boldest comedy, Attacking the Darkness. And if you have any special dietary needs, let me know. And I'll oh, make that's sure. very dangerous. Special if that was actually fuel and this was a burning fire, you shouldn't 
put it on there like attacking the darkness is already worth complete water. now we're kickstarting funding to help us release it we have so to it's already DVDs made they just need to release it so this movie already exists vod platforms like itunes and hulu and netflix and even cover some marketing costs but with your support we can give our latest feature the release it deserves thanks and to all of our returning backers and to everyone who is discovering our films for the first time we can't wait to share attacking the darkness with you I was trying to toss around, you know, Jesus dollars or God bucks, but I don't, I mean, I think I... Rolling! The music is... Are you concerned at all that this show might have some negative repercussions on RPGs? Have you read the script? So, um, this was more the explanation in the usual sense of explaining uh, everything. I personally, the thing is, I remember that. I remember articles like that in Germany, actually, about how this is going through Saturnism, mostly through what we call Boulevard, which uh, I think the um, the Brits call uh, Yellow pa uh, Pages or uh, Yellow Press. Yellow Press, I think, that's what they say. And, you know, what you would call tabloid. You know, tabloid uh, press who are desperate for stories. I worked for one for a short while, very short while, and no pay. <laughs> and they are desperate for a story. They will do everything to get a story the way they want to. So that is exactly how, th this is basically, these are the unscrupulous ones that do not believe in anything and just want to have story. And these are, and the, 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 you know, the religious zealots are the, are the unscrupulous ones that believe in something and try to get their belief hammered down the throats of everyone. Sometimes because they actually believe this will change the outcome of the world and this will change uh, the world to the better, while it just makes it worse. Much, much worse. So this is... Um, this is the feature, this is Jack in the Darkness, and then they released a third video, How Role Playing a Religion and Indie Film Collide. And that's another two, min uh, two minutes and 40 seconds, and this is going to be my third for this one. Let's check it out in three, two, one, go. Attack in the Darkness is a mockumentary mm -hmm. about a way. church group that decides to make a low budget film. So basically, it's, what yeah, they it's, normally it's do. Christopher Nobody Guest show. meets George Takei. It's if they think they're ready to learn, you know, the real stuff, we should give we them are, a shot. We're ready. I mean, the film is largely about, you know, not just making a movie, but faith. Uh, you know, gaining faith, keeping faith, losing faith. Every major character in the story goes through a bout of one of those things, if not more. I just can't do it anymore. And it's not just the, the uh, you know, specific faith, as in, like faith uh, when it comes to religion, but like faith when it comes to all kinds of things. Right. Like uh, of what it takes to... You know, what it takes to make a movie. Make an independent film as well. I mean, the faith that like, you know, I mean, how crazy you actually have to be to make that happen. <laughs> well, we need to actually move on to you're, this you're, other... You're changing the cast. Yes, at, at this, this point, point. In at this point in time, we, we are going to need to change the cast. I think what works about the comedy in it is that even though these characters are slightly over the top, mm -hmm. they're honest. Slightly? I need to do what is right so okay, that can trust my God, and, and, real, and that's yeah. all I want. And a baby. <sighs> I'm really happy today. Yeah, it pokes fun, but it only pokes. You know, we're not, we're not trying to eviscerate anybody here. We're, yeah, sure, we're, we're poking fun at these mega churches. We're poking fun at the gaming community. We're poking fun at independent filmmaking. Maybe a little harder than we're poking at anything else. And certain ideals that are held by these kinds of This is know, Brian Lewis, by the way. This is just a little too close for me and for the Lord. So if you wouldn't mind just separating a little on the side. <laughs> oh. It is unquestionably oh my gosh. It's, it's for the LARP scene. Oh, so, the LARP. Right, correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay, wait a minute. You said LARP. Now, is it LARP or is it LARP? I guess it depends on how you like to deal with acronyms. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Oh. Like LGBT. Oh, we were sitting Ooh, and being Ooh, bad one to tell a Christian oh, uh, zealot that word. Oh, absolutely. What are you going to do? 
or that abbreviation, Tomorrow, which is, I would say, LGBT. When your passion <laughs> collides with your faith, hilarity ensues. I love the snow, it's so pretty. It makes everything covered in white, pure beauty, and yeah, you don't until have to cars see drive all through the dirt it. that's underneath. Capture the rapture exclusively on Kickstarter. Yeah, so, um, so those were the those were the three uh, the, those were the three uh, trailers. Um, I'm going to put, of course, the Kickstarter in the description. It's basically kickstarter.com slash project slash John the Orpheus slash attacking minus the minus darkness minus a minus feature minus mockumentary. So <laughs> it's a bit long. Um, so I'm just going to put it in the description, guys, so you can check it out. Or just check for a zombie Orpheus on on Kickstarter. You check their YouTube channel. I'm going to link all three of the videos there. Um, if you if you're interested in any way and they have a certain you know levels um i'm currently locked on uh, the level of 25 dollars which is again the physical dvd which is something i just I, I like their stuff so much i want the physicals always i always want the physical copy of their stuff which is weird because the first time when i watched the gamers which was the first ever movie from a uh, dead gentleman which was college student put it I think five thousand bucks or something like that which blew me away as a role player which I, I was lying on the floor laughing that was just some copy that I got on some um, CDR by some uh, buddy from the card playing community I think or something like that many many years ago and ever since I now have it on DVD I have uh, the follow-up um, Darkness Rising, uh, despite the fact that it is on YouTube for free, where you can check it out, I have that, which is also playing total fun on uh, the role playing community, a uh, pen and paper role playing game. Uh, Hands of Fate, I uh, supported the Kickstarter, which is about card playing and the card playing community as well, and a little bit of role playing, but mostly the card playing community. And uh, then uh, Journey Quest, which is basically a, a fantasy story where you don't see the group that is playing, but it's just as chaotic as most of the playing groups, which is absolutely fun and absolutely lovely to watch. I did not support the first and second season, sadly, because I was too late for that, but I'm now kickstarted, uh, kickstarted backing the, the 13th. I supported... Um, their their uh, role playing uh, thing of Demon Hunters, which I have an uh, unboxing, what's still coming for that, of the goodies that I got from there. So I'm I'm really I'm a fan. I'm a real fan of Zombie Orpheus, but that's because of my background. I'm a role player. I am somebody who just enjoys this so much, and I personally believe that this is. Um, this is worth supporting simply because I know them. I, I know what products they normally put out and it hasn't disappointed me yet. So even if you say, okay, I'm not going to go for 25, you know, for the DVD. I'm not going for 12, which would be the digital copy. Go for one. Why not? I mean, one buck. That's okay, and they don't need much. Let's, let me check here. At the moment of recording this video, they have collected $14,884 of $25,000 minimum that they want. And there's 18 days to go. So I'm going to kick this out quite quickly. At 5,546 uh, backers. I remember that we uh, finished the last one with over 4,000 backers for um, Journey Quest, which had a an average which was off the charts to finish that series, and 1,337 new backers that have never backed anything on Kickstarters, which were well, the first one they backed was here. So I was that, but those were other levels, man, that was 410000 or something like that, $410,000. This is only $25,000, man. If 1,000 people gave as much as I did, or 19, 999, we would have been wanted already. But, you know, every little bit, you know, and as you take the pony bit or uh, the little bit, everything helps. 
And uh, as they said, this is already produced. They just want it released. That's all they want. And, um, you know, release costs money. You have to... Uh, you have to get the the material, you have to get the print, you have to get the artwork, you have to get um, the distribution, you have to make try and get deals with, with companies, as they said, as Hulu or something, to get them on there. And that is, that is that costs money. They don't really pay for much for indie stuff. And as I said, this is a mockumentary, so this is also very niche. <sighs> this is uh, basically the reason why I'm backing this. So, this is going to be, if you are not a role player, this is not going to, to interest you. Truly, if you are not a role player, if you, however, are a role player, even if it's like Pony Finder, which I backed as well, backed Pony Finder, two of their campaigns, um, if you are a role player, not only pen and paper, also digital, if you are playing computer games, you know these people. You know the people who think that you are opening the world to Satanism by playing Doom, for example. Which, by the way, Doom and Doom 2, these two, as far as I know, I think they just removed it like four or five years ago from the German ban list. So it was not distributed in Germany from their release, like two years after the release or one year after the release, till like four years ago it was not openly distributed in Germany, had to be censored, the word had to be censored because of the violent intake, uh, the, the violence in there. And uh, well, it's a shooter through hell, I'm quite sure that paper, but that was the 80s censorship. That was the same in Germany. It existed. There was a wave of censorship that hit so many things. There is no uncut version of Blade, the first Blade movie available in Germany over the counter. You can get it under the counter, unadvertised if you ask for it and they have it or they can get it for you. If you ask for it, that's okay. But not otherwise. There is no uncut version in Germany for Starship Troopers. Why not? Fascistic and violent, um, and violent uh, um, parts in the movie. But the thing is, this is a satire. This is a, a, a mirror how bad a fascistic situation is. And I immediately understood it when I watched the movie. And I have the uncut version. I asked for it. You can get it under the counter, not over the counter. And uh, there is a cut version, which just removed the violence or parts of it, but not the fascistic undertones. Evil Dead 1 and 2 is not distributed in Germany. It is censored. It is literally, it is really, this doesn't make sense. It is not only censored, it is confiscated. You cannot get it at all. It is a confiscated one. So that is the the level of censorship that still exists. And people reacted to role-playing games just the same way. 70s, 80s believe I grew up in a Catholic country, in a very Catholic country, without ever being Catholic. I was Protestant, Lutheran, and I left the church once I had to pay for it in Texas. You know, church tax. That's when I left it. Before that, I didn't care, but that's when I left it. When I lost my faith, I can pinpoint it at the age of 14. I started branching out and seeing what uh, there was, and at age 16, I realized there is nothing. <laughs> because uh, if anyone had the actual true belief, they would have dominated or gotten it some, so far, but nobody has. You know, they they try to explain a world in a different way, and they, you know, also science is the same way. But science has to be proven. You have to be proven. Otherwise, it's a theory. It will not qualify. It. If it's proven, it stops being a theory. If it is proven, it has to be one, and the other one has to repeat the proof. That is how it works. Religion has no proof whatsoever. It's solely based on faith. Not for me. 
I do not only believe when I believe, I try to find out if it's only belief, it's a shaky fundament to build on. This is, the foundation is not very good. And the problem is, for example, that there are many things, many, many things in life that I have no proof for. Starting with the very basics, which is part of philosophy, you know, you have the, to, to think outside the box, there may be something there. But it's basically, it's a training, training exercise for the mind, because when there's no proof, thinking about it is mainly a training exercise for the mind, because if you can't prove it, how can you base anything on it? You know, that's, that's, that's the thing. And, yeah, I'm a role player. I played uh, elves mostly, and uh, some dark mages, um, skulls, um, so so uh, Nordic uh, bards, um, half elves. Yeah, I played half elves. Um, and <laughs> something they would never approve. I played Vampire the Masquerade, and I played it live action. Live, I loved in uh, in Vampire the Masquerade. I miss that sometimes, occasionally, occasionally. Oh, shut up, Google. I put my cell phone on silent, and somehow it activates because of uh, Google recognition. Stupid thing. Um, yeah, I've been ranting way too long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, as I said, this is something where you can consider, you know, check the trailers, check the original, check the comments, check the description of the cast and what they do. And if you want to support it, hey, support it. I would uh, love to see you in the supporting and in the comments of the supporters. It's always a fun time there. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, if uh, not, hey, if we get it funded, it will probably be released on YouTube and uh, you can watch it. So hey, you get it. Just not goodies, you know, something like the role playing companion and the DVD and the t shirt. And, you know, fun stuff, fun stuff. You won't get that if you don't fund it. So, maybe. So, um, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my rant, although it was quite long. Um, I hope you took something away from it by maybe at least checking out the work of Zombie Office Entertainment and, and their gentlemen productions because you know if you have any feel for fantasy if you have any feel for, for for satire you will like that i am quite sure you will find something there and it's mostly free on youtube so why not check it out possible right and well basically i'm going to see you whenever i'll see you right bye <laughs>